Ariana Grande supports brother's nose job. The Grand family spotlight lights up again, this time on the ever supportive Ariana Grande. When Frankie Grande shared a post about his rhinoplasty on Instagram earlier, his superstar sister did not waste any time bombarding him with virtual loves. Ariana's comment, only a basic, strong, perfect in all ways, always, speaks volumes about their connection, which remains as strong as ever. She has been one of the biggest supporters of Frankie all these years, both on stage and off. From celebrating his accomplishments on Broadway and reality TV, TV, to offering a shoulder to lean on during personal struggles, Ariana has been there for her brother through thick and thin. One of Frankie's biggest battles was probably his road to sobriety. Ariana herself spoke about it loudly, standing up for him, which could undoubtedly be one of the major reasons for his victory. In 2017, however, he hit the six-year marker of sobriety, further fueling his motivation and channeling strength from his family. The relationship extends beyond the reach of their personal hurdles. As recently as in 2022, after Frankie wed Hale Leon, Ariana stepped back on Instagram to celebrate celebrate the engagement between these two very incredible and cosmically destined souls. Her good wishes, laced with her signature playfulness, copious amounts of video games. Frankie has also been a constant source of support for Ariana in hard times. When her ex-boyfriend Mac Miller died in 2018, Frankie was there for her and sent love messages to her through social media, standing by her side. This sibling constant give and take speaks volumes about the depth of the relationship. Victories are celebrated, solace is given during difficult times, and a haven of acceptance is enacted within the often turbulent celebrity world. Ariana shares one more public display of affection heartwarming proof that familial bonds never break. From family to career, it's just a hassle to balance both, but at least we can enjoy our evenings with a new Meryl Streep movie. Excitement is brewing within the fashion world and beyond over murmurs of a possible sequel to 2006, The Devil Wears Prada. This was a cult classic series that followed an up and coming graduate, Andy Sachs, through the brutal world of high fashion at the hands of ruthless editor-in-chief Miranda Priestly. Now, nearly two decades later, the possibility of a revisit to this classic tale leaves fans wanting more. According to the reports, the wheels are in motion for a follow-up film. The original screenwriter, Aline Brosh McKenna, is also involved and is in charge of writing the script, which means a familiar voice to guide the narrative. It is also reported that producer Wendy Feynman will also be attached to the project, a woman who was instrumental in bringing the first film into being. Although nothing has yet been confirmed regarding casting, there is speculation that Meryl Streep will reprise her Oscar-nominated role as the formidable Miranda Priestly. The potential plot of the sequel offers a fascinating twist. Sources have revealed that the movie will deal, in fact, with Miranda Priestly slowly losing her step on the quicksand of a fast-changing fashion landscape. The era of huge print media was supplanted by the digital one in a blink, an event that left the once unshakable Miranda with a new set of problems. Adding fuel to the fire, it might also add a strong opposing force in Emily Charlton, Andy's old colleague who rose through the ranks to become a high-powered executive at a caring or LVMH style luxury group. The news of a sequel has sent fans into a flurry. Some react with unbridled excitement as they imagine the chance to be reunited with these characters and learn much more about them. So it's safe to say we're really excited for this sequel. Jay Johnston, the former Bob's Burgers voice actor who voiced Jimmy Pesto, has just pleaded guilty to a federal count regarding involvement in the January 6th attack on the US Capitol. Yep, it's the same guy from Anchorman and Men in Black 2 who had us in stitches. Johnston, 55, is facing a possible five years in prison for this felony charge. Although realistically, the sentencing guidelines have him looking at eight to 14 months in prison. Sentencing is set for October 7th. Can't even imagine where his head's at right now, but yeah, pretty heavy stuff. Now let's rewind a bit. On June 25th, Johnston agreed to plead guilty to charges related to the Capitol attack. We're talking about civil disorder and disorderly or disruptive conduct in a restricted building. His formerly scheduled change of plea hearing had been set for July 8th in Los Angeles. I know it's all a whirlwind, but hear us out. Back on June 7th, 2023, Johnston was actually arrested in Los Angeles. That certainly changed things. He turned himself into the FBI after they issued a warrant for his arrest. He made his first appearance in U.S. District Court that same day and was released on a $25,000 bond with an agreement to attend a remote hearing set for June 13th. It's safe to say his schedule was full. Using him of using a stolen police shield to attack officers, he now faces up to five years. Johnston's involvement in the January 6th riot really isn't any new news for anyone following the story. He was identified through photos that the FBI had released not too long after the attack. You know how it goes. Someone recognized him and did the right thing by tipping off the feds and boom, they got the guy. It turns out Johnston was part of what has been called a group assault on law enforcement. So what's next for Jay Johnston? Well, we'll all find out when he's sentenced in October just how much time he'll serve. In the meantime, it's a tough fall from grace for someone who's brought so much joy to fans over the years. It's just proof that no matter 
matter who you might be, your actions can catch up to you. But when it comes to death, the same cannot be said. The comfortable glowing screens of the TV flicker a little bit today with the passing of Doug Sheehan, the veteran actor who has unmistakably left a mark on daytime television. Sheehan, suave as attorney Joe Kelly in General Hospital, died peacefully in his sleep on June 29th, 2024 at the age of 75. Although news of his passing was a bit sudden, it leaves behind vivid legacies of performances that brought heart and intrigue into countless living rooms across the nation. Sheehan was born in California in 1949. His interest in acting gave way out to professional acting once his career kicked off towards the end of the 1970s. He had his first taste of television on an episode of Charlie's Angels debuting in 1978, pertinently for this essay, because it conveys glamour and frenetic activity more typical of show business. It was through his role in General Hospital, though, that he made a real leap into stardom. Between 1979 and 1982, he portrayed Joe Kelly, an attorney who solved complex cases around the fictional town of Port Charles. His charismatic performance resonated with audiences, earning him a coveted Daytime Emmy nomination, a testament to his undeniable talent. Beyond the characters he portrayed, Sheehan himself was a passionate artist. Every performance he was in reflected his artistic style. He had oozing charisma, beaming through his viewers and drawing them deep into what life had in store for the characters he portrayed. For many, watching Sheehan on screen became like a familiar comfort, the daily escape into the worlds that he had helped bring about. His passing leaves a void not only in the industry, but also in the hearts of fans who cherished his presence on their televisions. Though the exact cause of his passing is not disclosed, one thing is for sure that the world of entertainment has indeed lost a true gem. The career of Doug Sheehan has been an inspiration to many upcoming actors, showing that it is through dedication, passion, and a dash of talent that makes one's journey through the world of storytelling rewarding. All right, folks, that's it for today's celeb news. Let us know in the comments below which news you like the most. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.